SWAT USED ARMORED TRUCKS AND TEAR GAS TO CAPTURE A MAN IN A FORT WORTH NEIGHBORHOOD WHO WAS WANTED FOR TWO MURDERS. POLICE SAY OVER THE COURSE OF A FEW HOURS TIME HE STABBED AND WOUNDED ONE PERSON AND STOLE THEIR PICKUP TRUCK. THEN HE DROVE THAT TRUCK INTO A BUILDING KILLING A MAN AND THEN HIT, a, hit AND KILLED A WOMAN SITTING AT A BUS STOP. And then he carjacked someone else. Fox 4 Stephen Dial has the latest in the deadly crime spree. Stephen. Steve, as you mentioned, two people are dead following this long series of events. Uh, we don't know the names of the people who have died today, and we also do not know the name of the man. Police say used a truck to hit and kill someone. There's still many unanswered questions, including what was the motive behind the initial stabbing. Sky 4 above a Fort Worth neighborhood captured the end to an hours long pursuit of a suspect wanted for a deadly violent one man crime wave. Police say the suspect stole two different pickups using one of them, not this white GMC crew cab, to kill two people. The man leaned out of his window and talked with police who were telling him to surrender. They used spike strips to flatten some tires, but he was defiant. The neighborhood standoff went on for about an hour. And I saw the truck, you know, going or speeding on the, right on the corner. It's smoke coming out of, the, out of the tires because it was already, you know, quite flat. Then police got more forceful. SWAT teams used two armored trucks to box the double murder suspect in, one pushing the pickup into the other one. They shot tear gas through the truck's windows. After a few minutes, he finally came out and surrendered and was taken into custody by the SWAT team members. The incident started Wednesday morning, just before noon, when officers responded to a stabbing on Las Vegas Trail. The stabbing victim survived, but police say the attacker stole the victim's gray Dodge pickup truck and took off. He then used it to smash into a gaming room on Camp Bowie Boulevard West. He came crashing through the store. And he went all the way through the store to the back. Junior McAfee works at the game room. He says the suspect frequented the place and knows the man who was killed. McAfee described the murder victim. He's a real, 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 real good dude. Uh, there's nothing bad I can say about the man. At about 1.45 p.m., officers located the suspect in that stabbing in the 8700 block of Camp Bowie West. They were flagged down by citizens who said the suspect had run over at least one pedestrian at that location. Police say when the suspect drove away from the gaming room, he hit a woman at a bus stop also on Camp Bowie. She also died. Chief Neil Noakes told us that when he abandoned the gray Dodge pickup, he carjacked someone else, stealing their white GMC pickup truck and leading police on a chase. The only suspect involved in any of this, the only person that was any kind of a threat to the public is in custody. People in the neighborhood where the chase ended say they hardly ever see or hear about crime happening in their community. Out of the whole two and a half years I've been in this neighborhood, this is the first uh, incident, hopefully the last one. And again, we don't know the name of the man who police say hit and killed multiple people with a stolen truck. We don't know how many charges he's facing or what bond uh, is being set.